Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadgetax, and today I'm going to show you a great alternative to the Android file transfer app for Macs. Now I recognize that most Mac users have an iPhone and most Android users have a Windows PC, but there are quite a few people like me who use an Android phone and an Apple computer. But if you have this combination of hardware, you've surely noticed that it's a pretty crappy experience to get the software from the two devices to work together. For instance, there's the Android File Transfer app for Macs. This little app is one of the only ways you can transfer files between your phone and your computer, and it's just an ugly bare bones experience. So to make this experience a lot nicer, the development team at Smartisan Software created a Mac app called Smart Finder. You can use this in place of the Android File Transfer app, and doing so will get you lots of awesome new features and a much nicer UI. To try this one out, just head to step one in my full tutorial, where I've got a link for the Smart Finder app, which will take you right to the Mac App Store page. Once you've made it this far, just click the Install button directly beneath the logo, and while it's working there, I'd recommend that you uninstall the old Android File Transfer app to avoid any conflicts. Now once you've done that, go ahead and open Smart Finder for the first time. When you do this, the program should ask if you'd like to set it to launch automatically when you connect an Android device, and that's a great feature, so click the launch automatically button. After that, you'll be prompted to enable USB debugging on your Android device. This requires that you've unlocked the developer options menu on your phone, which itself is as simple as heading to the about phone menu in settings, then tapping the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. So with that done, open the settings menu on your Android device, then scroll down towards the bottom and open the developer options submenu. From here, scroll down a bit, then enable the switch next to the USB debugging option. With that taken care of, go ahead and plug your phone into your Mac with a USB data cable. When you do that, you'll see a pop-up on the Android side of things asking if you'd like to allow access from this computer. Go ahead and tick the box next to Always Allow, then press OK on the pop-up. When you're done there, you're done with setup. Within a few seconds, you should be greeted by Smart Finder's main menu. And unlike Android File Transfer, this has a nice native look to it. You can browse all the folders on the phone with an intuitive UI, and you can drag and drop files right between this window and a regular Finder window. Then another cool option is it lets you run batch, import, and export operations. So that should save a bunch of time when you're copying lots of files. Bottom line, it's an Android File Transfer replacement with a really nice UI, plus a few added features. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.